The diamond dropped on vinyl, dropped the needle and played a sad song. The songwriter's final composition before he died. Too tired of living. Will's head fell back in the swoon of music in the side room of the bar. A girl recognized his fear. He asked her for her hand and held it, then let go. Then asked again and held it. She sat on the floor with him and he pulled his knees to his chest and stayed that way. All was well in Bacchanalia. When it hits, you feel no pain. My blood, he thought. My blood full with this, gentle like a stream. Then suddenly coarsen, sudden euphoria, rolling. He had no fear, but a steady wave of emotion and in desire to move for hours. And a fool loner, he stayed on the floor and the girl at his back. There was a velvet curtain that separated this room from the next, the velvet middle ground, and through it he imagined someone watched him and smiled like strangers smile at children, and the girl gave up on him and disappeared behind the curtain, left him there in the light of black magic, eyes on the curtain that swung and danced for him before he stared it to a standstill. Hey. Look me in the eye. Don't get lost in a girl if you don't have to. There were words he heard on the other side. Words he was not supposed to hear. That no one thought he heard. Because they assumed he was asleep. Or less than conscious. Or simply unable to understand. He's in there. We won't have to worry about him tonight. Just give him a trash can. Someone's wife was not listening to her husband, but continued to press him. I'm not going like this, alone. You don't give a damn, do you? Do you? I'm paying the bills, and you can't come through for us? For your child? You want to walk in there and fucking work for me? The static on the vinyl showed more heart than the music and Will waited anxiously on the ground for each song to end, to be blessed by static. I am the devil, if that's what she wants, someone yelled outside the curtain. It was the husband, raging after his wife left, and someone was talking about Will again to someone else out there. I don't want to go in there. If he puked, I'll have to clean it up. They all left him alone in there, with the curtain, with the music, in the dim light. Or maybe he left them. Any way you look at it, he was alone. The refrigerator shook as it filled with cool air. He was awake, but he dreamed. Sat still with his legs pulled up to his chest, looking at his thin and pale arms, conscious, dreaming. Best you run, boy. Best you run for your life.